Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to DeSoto Post 6654-911 Memorial Service today. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. It's truly appreciated. If you could and you would, would you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I'd like to invite Reverend Copeland to come up and give us our opening prayer. Before our invocation, I'd like to call your attention to the flag of honor on the wall. It has the names of all who perished on 9-11, and also the soldier here in front of me, and I appreciate Danny Lane for providing this, and our fallen soldier symbol. Uh, this soldier also representing all who have served in protecting our country uh, since that time. And of course, the uh, fallen soldier symbol symbolizes those who since 9-11 have paid the ultimate price in protecting our country. Let us uh, again stand, if you're able, as we uh, join together in our invocation. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, in the spirit of unity with our fellow Americans, we have gathered here today, 10 years to the day following that terrible attack on our nation. We've gathered to remember those whose lives were lost, firemen, policemen, and all others. And also to remember those who suffered the loss of loved ones and friends. As the symbolic fallen soldier so graphically reminds us, Many since 9-11 have paid the ultimate price in protecting us from the enemy that continues to seek to destroy our nation. We pay tribute to these brave people and to their families and to all who have served our country so courageously since that fateful day. O oh God, may we today be renewed in our faith in your strength as we humbly ask that you would protect us from our enemies. In thy name we pray, amen. Next, I'd like to introduce Joy Atterbury. She's going to give a description of the POW and MIA team. Good morning. Those who have served and those currently serving are ever mindful that the sweetness of enduring peace has always been tainted with the bitterness of personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, deprivation, and internment. Before we begin our activities this morning, we will pause to recognize our POWs and NMI aides. I call your attention to this small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that members of our Corps are missing from our ranks they are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families today, so we join together to pay our humble tribute to them and bear witness to their continued absence. This table set for one is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her suppressors. Remember. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. Remember. The single red rose in the vase signifies the blood that may have sh they may have shed in sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. Remember. 
The Rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep the faith while awaiting their return. Remember. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. Remember. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. Remember. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith to sustain those lost from our country, founded as one nation under God. Remember. The chair is empty. They are not here. Remember. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us this day. Remember. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which, get, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. Remember. Let us pray to the Supreme Commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifices. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families.